Hey guys, the other day I posted a video on a uh, Goodwill and Salvation Army thrift haul and this just little Halloween cauldron that I guess you can get at any store. I got a thrift store for $3.75. So I will pop a picture up on the screen of the inspiration piece. And this actually is about the same size as the inspiration piece. Now the handles, of course, aren't real, like in the inspiration piece. But I will, um, I had linked the gal's video, but I will link it in this one as well. So I'm going to try to get as much videoed as I go, just because sometimes you don't want to stop when you're painting. You want it to be kind of a, a smooth effort, smooth, continuous effort. So if I were to do half, show you, and then try to match the other half, it wouldn't really come out the same. So I'm just going to go in layers and kind of show you as I go. So hang tight. So I went and got just some uh, acrylic paint that I had in my stash, my paint drawers. Just the cheap Walmart apple barrel. So I have black, white, Peter Gray, and then just kind of a, I don't know what it's called, I think it's called vanilla bean, but it's just a brown, dark brown. So, and the inspiration piece, there's actually two, there's a dark one and a light one, and I'm going to be somewhere in the middle. And then I use baking soda as to create some texture, and then I just have a chippy little, cheap little paintbrush, but this is good for creating like some chippy stippling, and you'll see. Um, I'm also going to try to get this one done tonight too, but it's going to be more creams and browns. So for fall decorations. This, like I said, is going to be, there's a dark version and there's a light version. So I will see what the, it's just not going to be as dark as the one you'll see. It'll be a little bit lighter. So it'll be kind of a medium between the two and you'll see as soon as I put the picture up. So I'm just going to go ahead and then I have just some water and just a disposable bowl and then I just wing it. So I am going to base it um, probably in the brown and go from there and it should stick to this okay. I should probably use like a chalk paint to prime it and I might still do that. I'll go get some chalk paint and then because chalk paint adheres to any surface without having to sand it or put any other uh, medium down. So I'm going to go get some white chalk paint and be right back. So this is the chalk paint I use, the Fusion Mineral Paint, and this is the color Casement. It's a... I wouldn't say it's... It's a creamy white, but it's not like vanilla creamy. I don't know how to explain it, So, but you'll see it when I start putting it on there. Okay, got a pretty good layer on both of them. You just slap it on really. I mean it's no, it doesn't have to be fancy, it's not a final product. It's just something for the other paint to adhere to. It's called a base coat. So, and this little pumpkin I forgot to show was $1.25. So yeah, what was that? $5 for both these items. So, and they're going to be cute for fall decor. But Yep, I'm just going to let it dry, and I think I missed a spot right there, but that's okay. It'll all get filled in, and then when I'm done, I'm going to do the inner, I don't know, probably two or three inches, just a base coat around the inside so it doesn't look black, unless it's fine, because um, it's going to be filled with um, thick layer of flowers or florals or whatever. So anyways, I'm going to let these dry, and I'll show you when I get started. So it's dried and I got my <clears throat> brush cleaned off for the most part. Um, since it has the base coat in it, you don't have to clean clean it in this case. So now I've got all the different colors of paint in there. There's still a little bit of white. Now I'm just going to start layering. Um, like I said, I'm going to go dark. And then I'm going to come back through and then lighten it up to where it's kind of like a... <clears throat> oh... I don't know how to explain it, but you'll you'll see. <laughs> so I'll show you as I get some layers on. Okay, 
okay what I'm doing right now it does look like a hot mess but you just kind of just put the paint on and see if I can do this one-handed but you just kind of just go through and just kind of don't do it all in one direction because you want to give it some layers I don't know how to explain that but so I you know I've went through and I've started doing one way and now I'm going through and just getting a little bit of that and then just so I'm gonna do that and keep going until I get the look I want so the top might end up getting done a little bit later because it is big and I have to kind of hold it but see and then I'm going to start going through with the gray and white and then the black and white and then just I haven't done the baking soda yet because I'm not 100% sure I'm going to use that but we'll see let's see just kind of get it on there so it's going to look wonderful okay this is a good stopping point for right now normally when you have browns and grays and blacks and whites is you want to let the colors dry in between because if you start trying to blend them and mix them before the other one is dry, it's going to give you a muddied <clears throat> color. Um, but that's what I wanted on here. So I did the brown and then I came in with some black. Just getting it a little wet and then just literally slapping it on. It's dark in some spots. It's light in other spots. And that's exactly what I want. Um... I was starting to lift paint by holding it on the edge, so I am definitely going to let it dry. But see, yeah, there's more dark. There's some whites and browns. I did add some baking soda to the brown layer. And see, yeah, there's blacks. There's just different colors popping through, and that's exactly what I want. Some areas are going to be darker. Some are going to be lighter. I'm going to eventually go over this area and the rim with um, antiquing wax at the end and wipe it off so that the handles kind of stick out, but yeah, I'm liking how this is going. I'm not even trying to do the bottom right now, but yeah, see there's some dark colors here because you want that aged look. So I'm going to let this dry for a while. I could get the blow dryer out, but I have lots to do. So I'm just going to go ahead and let this hang out. And we'll just keep adding. Okay, it's pretty dry. I'm not sure the lighting's not very good. Oh, that's pretty good. See how there's some brown in there? I'm going to go through and put quite a bit more brown. Oh, the lighting is just bad. <clears throat> so, oh yeah, that's a good shot right there. Yeah, that's really good. That's a little bit wider right there than what it is in real life. It's just because of the glare. But see how it just looks like just a mottled old, you know, pot. So, and I think the white waxing is going to lighten it up a bit. <clears throat> so I'm not going to add much lightning or lighting to it as far as light, lighter color. Like I said, I think the white wax, I'm going to put it on and then wipe it off, of course. But I think that'll do quite a bit of good very nice I'm very happy with it so I'm going to do some brown see how there's some brown right there I'm going to go ahead and do some more brown spots <clears throat> and let that dry and I don't think I'm going to do the inside just because like I said there's going to be enough flowers I'm going to put a vessel in there so I don't have to <laughs> cram pack that full because that's 12 inches across so I think I said it was a 12 inch cauldron so yep pretty happy with it okay i'm now to the finishing stage so i'm using this waverly um white wax um it seals it and what i do is i i'm not going to do it because it dries pretty fast but i do a section i just brush stroke it on and it looks a lot starker here than what it is in real life but um and then you just wipe it off see if i can oh yeah that looks way better um it's still not that bright but it's just giving that aged look that i really like so and then 
just leave it kind of around the edges because that's where it would all cake in anyways around the handles and stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this up. Hold on. Okay. Oh, the darn lighting is horrible. Ush. But anyways, it turned out so good. <clears throat> There's a couple spots where the paint did lift, so I'm going to let that dry and then kind of touch that up. But yeah, the white wax just did amazing. And that spot right there is not as dark in real life as it's showing up on screen. But yeah, see the paint started to lift where I was wiping off the wax. But other than that, I mean, it's turned out pretty dang close to that inspiration piece. I'm very happy. So I will show you when it's all styled here in a second. Okay, here it is with all the florals in there. Not sure what side I like better, but, and I might change the florals, but for right now, looks pretty dang good. Yeah, I might change the florals, but anyways, it was a fun project for this afternoon. Have a great day. Always be kind and do what makes you happy.